the Rafield now Israeli police released CCTV footage on Thursday showing three Arab Israeli gunmen before they committed the attack at a Jerusalem holy site that killed two Israeli policemen last week. Police said the gunmen had hidden the weapons in the compound ahead of time using an accomplice. Later, Israel closed the site, known to Muslims as the Noble Sanctuary and Jews as the Temple Mount, for two days of searches. On uh, Sunday, Israel open, reopened it gradually and installed metal detectors at the entrances. Palestinians claim Israel is trying to expand control over the Muslim-run site that is also visited by Jews. The confrontation could come to he head on Friday. The highlight of the Muslim Religious Week when tens of thousands typically converge on the holy site for prayers. Now let's take a look at how the attackers planned their attack. In the security camera footage, the three Arab-Israeli gunmen, Muhammad Ahmed Muhammad Jabarin, age 29, Muhammad Hamad Abdel Latif Jabarin, age 19, and Muhammad Ahmed Mafdal Jabarin, age 19, can be seen arriving in Jerusalem from their hometown of Umm al-Fam by bus before separately entering the old city of Jerusalem through Herod's Gate. They proceeded to enter the Temple Mound through the Huta Gate. At the gate, one of the attackers was stopped and questioned after apparently arousing the suspicion of a police officer before being eventually allowed to enter the site. The video also shows that the three attackers had an accomplice, an unidentified fourth individual who brought the guns in a backpack onto the Temple Mound and left them in the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The security footage later shows the fourth man leaving the Temple Mound and exiting the Old City through Herod's Gate prior to the attack. Two of the attackers can then be seen exiting the mosque together while the third assailant exits by himself shortly after them with the bag of weapons on his back. The three terrorists are next seen walking together down an alley at the site to switch their clothes before returning without the bag with the weapons now hidden on their bodies. The video ends with the security footage from the moment the shooting of police officers Kamil Shnan and Hayel Sitawe began, footage the police released last week following Friday's attack.